I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Star Drops, episode 3. 3, 4. One of those. Either way, um, we do more fishing, because that's all we're doing right now. We have to get to 10 fishing, and we'll get there eventually. I mean, you know, we're, we're getting fairly close. I think by the end of this episode, I'm at like 8 fishing. Technically, I can get away with just having 9, if I can't get to 10 by the time it rains again. Because at 9 fishing, I can buy a trout soup from Willy, and that'll boost my fishing by one level. Even if it's only temporarily, it's like for 3 minutes or something like that. Um, it's still enough that we could potentially get the, um, the legend. I definitely need to buy an iridium fishing rod and the, uh, the trap bobber though, if I'm going to catch the legend, because he's basically impossible to catch without the trap bobber. I mean, I've tried many, many times, and he just moves too erratically too much to be able to catch. It's like a super catfish, basically. Uh, we talked to Leia there. I think I gave her a salad as well. Maybe. Eh, whatever. I am still giving her two gifts, two salads, every week. Um... Just, oh, these yawns. I wasn't yawning, like, right before I started this, up until I woke up, and then I start recording and immediately yawns all the time. Still working on getting favor up with Leia. That's basically the only other thing that I have to be doing this early. The other things can all wait until later, but I have to get fishing up, and I don't really have time to do anything else that's important, except for talk to Leia. Plus, there's not a whole lot else going on right now anyways. I mean, two of the star drops you can get in fall. Uh, one is from the sewers, which will happen eventually. One is by donating all the items to the museum, but we aren't doing that one. And then there's catching every fish and getting the spouse. And there's probably one other one that I'm forgetting, but basically... Oh yeah, one get down to four one hundred in the mines. But basically, the fish is the most important one, because it's the one that we can mess up the earliest. And beyond that... Uh, oh my god, the yawns, please. Beyond the, the catching every fish one... Also, I'm just gonna stop right here for a second. I bought 125 strawberry seeds, and I should have hoed up the area and watered it beforehand, but I didn't. So as a result, I don't even get to plant all my seeds. I end up like 21 short. But, um, like I was saying, the only ones that I can do in the first spring reasonably easily is the fishing one and the spouse one. I can get started. If I finish the fishing one, then I can start donating some time to diving as hard as I can in the mines. And, you know, I could probably get that done within the first year as well. So we'll see. Well, not, not in the first year, the first month. Of course I can get it done in the first year. Um, if nothing else, I can get the donating 60 items to the museum done during winter. Because during, win during the winter... Uh, lots of worm tiles pop up compared to the rest of the year. So there's a much higher chance that I'll be able to find a worm tile, and as such, much higher chance that I can get an artifact that I haven't gotten already. I think there's not a whole lot else that I have to do in winter. Like, I'll already be married by then, because if I'm not married by then, then I can't get married at all this year. Um, 100 in the mines is pretty much guaranteed by winter, because it takes... Comparatively little time if you're doing if you're like going into the mines with with a purpose and not wasting time in there um, The one from Krobus will happen when I get the 60 artifacts, so that's probably winter Well, not 60 artifacts 60 items total. So that'll probably happen in winter um, the fair star drop like, from the Stardew Valley Fair, is on the 26th of fall, I think. Or the 16th of fall, actually. 
and also the sweet gem berry one is in fall so those both have have to happen in fall and yeah i think just sort of there's not a whole lot left by the time i get to winter which is fairly typical winter is a slow month as always uh strawberries i made the decision to buy them because i think even only getting like two harvests they'll still be worth their the money i spent to get them they were what, like 100 gold a piece and they probably are like cranberries and blueberries. I don't think I've ever actually grown strawberries, mostly because most of my runs end at one year, and you know you can't you can't get them reliably. Uh, like you, you can't get a full season's worth of harvest except in the second spring. In the first spring, all you can get is sort of a half harvest if you buy the seeds at the egg festival and then plant them the night of the egg festival, and that. That uh, gives you two harvests, I think. Like, they grow, and then you harvest them, and you might get a third harvest out of them, I think. I don't remember what the growth times are on those ones. If you use, like, Deluxe Speed Grow, you could probably probably get it in time. That'd actually be really handy. Uh, I don't know how many stages strawberries have, so I'm not sure exactly, like, how much benefit you would get out of using Deluxe Speed Grow on them. Because, you know, the formula for Deluxe Speed Grow is it boosts the growth by at least 25% is what it says. What that means is it takes 25% of the total growth time. So let's take potatoes, for example, which takes six days to grow and have four growth stages, I want to say. So 25% of six uh, is like 1.25 and then you round up because you always round up for this and you get two. So you take two days off of the growth stages like if the first growth stage is more than one day you can take a day off of that otherwise you have to take it off of the other ones like the middle stages can be zero days in total but the last one cannot be zero days so you end up with like you know three days to grow potatoes anyways hope you guys all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching if you did like the video comment the video subscribe the video share the video and i will see you guys all next time.